Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do your uh, weekly Anything Goes. This is October 27th through November 2nd. Please remember this is a general reading and timing is flexible and it may not resonate with everyone, okay? So this will be for your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs. Uh, you can also check out your other signs uh, from my video playlist link, which is in the description box. Uh, if you want to enter my giveaway, I do give away two personal readings every month. Details are below as well to enter. There's some other additional information in the description box. Um, you know, if you want to check out um, more information about your astrological signs um, and some other things as well. So let's get started here. If you're new to my channel, the Anything Goes reading means that uh, just any messages that come out that are meant for you. So can be about career, finances, situations with family, friends, just any message uh, that you need to hear. Love, uh, you know, I don't know if I said that already, but let's get started here. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. I pray that this reading for Sagittarius is for the highest good and purest intentions. I pray that you give Sagittarius the accurate messages and details they need to know for their journey. I pray that this will give them clarity and healing if needed. I thank you for your love, your wisdom, and your guidance. And may there always be love and light. Amen. So let's get three cards here for Sagittarius, October 27th through November 2nd. Let's get three cards. Oh, very nice. We have the Sun card. We have the Three of Fire. And we have the Seven of Earth. The bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Air. Okay, Aries. <laughs> I mean, not Aries. I'm sorry. I just did Aries. Sagittarius. Sagittarius here. Okay. Nine of Air. So I feel here, Sagittarius, I think the last reading I did for you, um, there's something that's really heavily on your mind. I feel like you're thinking a lot about something or you're up in the air about something. And I always feel like with this card, like something's got your feathers ruffled here. Okay. So you also could be dealing uh, with an Aquarius, a Libra, or a Gemini. We also have here a uh, strong Leo. Uh, we have Aries, and we have your energy here, Sag. We also have Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. So what I'm getting here, um, I feel here with the Seven of Pentacles, there's, a, there's something that you've invested a lot of time and a lot of energy with. And I feel here, you know, this is something that's very heavily on your mind right now. You have also here the three of fire. Okay, so I do feel here you're exploring your options in this situation. You've put a lot of time and energy into it, but there's something definitely that's heavily on your mind that you can't, you're having a hard time getting off of your mind, okay? Um, I'm also feeling here like you may have a lot of different options um, about this situation. And then you have here the Sun card. So I do feel here with the Sun card, uh, you are really trying to decide here what really brings you peace and happiness. That's the energy that I'm getting here. So I feel, you know, in summary, there's just, there's a lot of options or there are a lot of things on your plate or on your mind here. And you're really just trying to get to a place where you can figure out what's going to make you happy. So let's pull some, um, let's pull some, uh, some additional tarot cards here. See what other messages come out for you. I already did some pre-shuffle. Okay. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Sagittarius, October 27th through November 2nd? All right. We have the Ace of Wands. Oh, they're just flying out here. We have the Eight of Swords. We have the King of Pentacles. We have the Two of Swords. We have the Queen of Pentacles. 
We have the Ten of Pentacles. At the bottom of the deck here, we have the Page of Wands. Okay. So give me just a moment, Sagittarius, so I can hone in on the energy here. Okay. So Sagittarius, let me uh, call out the additional signs here, uh, if we have any. Actually, we already have the, the same signs. Um, there's nothing different here. Remember, they can be any sign or roles can be reversed. So you have here the Ace of Wands and the Two of Swords. I feel, Sagittarius, there is some sort of new opportunity here and you're very indecisive and I feel here this is on your mind. So I'm getting here for some of you this can be a new opportunity in love or somebody uh, there may be somebody that you're very passionate about and you're holding back okay I feel you're trying to decide here with the Sun card what's gonna make you happy I feel here you may have even have fears about moving forward um, in this situation. Now, if this is not love for you, I do feel here this is some sort of new opportunity or this can be something that you're very passionate about uh, or this is about you exploring your options. Um, but I do feel here there's you may have some sort of idea or something that you're creative about or there's something that you love doing. Um, and you know that this will bring you happiness, but for whatever reason, you're holding back. And I feel here you're holding back because of fear, because you have here the Nine of Swords as well, or the Nine of Air. This tells me that you're thinking a lot about this, and maybe your thoughts are running a little wild here, okay? Kind of talking you out of it is what I'm getting, okay? Uh, you have here the Eight of Swords and you have the Queen of Pentacles. So I definitely feel here there is some sort of offer here. Okay, and it looks pretty stable. It looks really good here, but again here you're feeling stuck. Okay, so you may be feeling stuck um, because you have the Three of Fire. So you may have other options, not sure which way to go in the situation. So this also can be something that you've been waiting for, okay? Something, this offer came in, okay? And this is something you've been waiting for, but for whatever reason, you're very indecisive about it. You're trying to hold back. Or you maybe you're not trying to, but maybe just you're thinking so much about it, it is holding you back, okay, from moving forward. I wanna show you here the interesting thing here. If this is love for you, look at this. We have the King and the Queen of Pentacles. So it tells me that this person, you know, it appears, it may not be for everyone, but it appears here that this is a great couple here. This is a, definitely a power couple, a stable couple, um, a couple that would do very well together financially. Uh, there would be a lot of stability here. And you have here the Ten of Pentacles, which tells me this is something that could go long term. Now, if this is not... Um, love for you i feel uh this new opportunity or this new passion of yours could really take you to a place where you would be very stable and do very well financially now in your situation whether this is love or this is career i do see here you've put a lot of time and you've put a lot of effort into this situation so i feel like you know this situation very well whether you know it's love or career here this is something that you've invested in time and maybe even money into. So, but I feel here it's going to pay off for you. Um, but I feel here you have to get out of your head, okay? You have to uh, believe that anything is possible. And, you know, I feel here too with this Three of Fire that you need to also uh, believe you know that anything is possible okay the opportunities are out there for you and 
you don't need to feel limited or feel stuck. And that's what I'm getting here. I feel like some of you may be afraid of moving forward. There's fear here for whatever reason. Uh, you know, fear of change here is what I'm getting. You also have here the page of wands. So this tells me here, this is something I feel here that interests you, something that you're very excited about. Uh, it may even be a new endeavor for you as well. Okay. So let's pull some more cards from the bottom of the deck and see what we have here. This also can be communication, okay, about this new opportunity, or you may be in communication with someone already about uh, this offer here. You also have here the two of wands. So it tells me here that you're definitely thinking about this. And I'm also feeling here, you know, there's two wands here and one of the wands, okay, is, um, the, okay, yeah. It's different in every deck, but in this deck here, there's two wands and this person is holding onto one wand, which tells me here, you know, this is another indication you may be having a hard time letting go. I feel here too, this is about you. Uh, again, I feel you're exploring your options. You're really thinking about what's going to make you happy in the future. I feel here this could also inv involve some sort of move, some sort of home move. Whether this is love or this is career, that's not gonna be for all of you. So there may be a job offer uh, at a distance here for you, or this new passion or this new skill um, or, you know, if you're um, doing something here, uh, you know, something creative or a new business, whatever it is for you, it may in involve a place and a distance or you may have to travel for it. It's going to be different for everyone. So I do feel here this is definitely you're in a place here where you're going to have to make some sort of decision here. Okay, so you had three, op three uh, opportunities or three wands here. Now you're down to two wands. So I feel like you've kind of narrowed it down or you will narrow it down to two options here. Okay, one or the other. The next card you have here is the Knight of Pentacles. So I do feel here, uh, this is the indication that I feel like you're going to take your time here um, and I do feel here that things are going to uh, be stable and I feel here, I do feel here you're going to make some sort of decision here and it's going to uh, bring you some stability here where you feel you're in a good place, you're taking things slowly uh, and things are progressing. Okay, so for some of you I do feel here there is going to be some sort of change here, uh, you know, whether you accept this offer uh, whether you make a home move, whatever it is, definitely see change here in the future for you. Okay, so let's uh, pull some angel answer cards. And as I'm shuffling, I'm just going to take another look to see here if there's any other messages that I have here. I feel like for some of you, you know, this, this situation... I feel like there's a sense that you're enthusiastic about it, uh, that you kind of just want to do it. Uh, but I feel here at the same token, fear holds you back. But it does look like, uh, you know, whether it is career or uh, finances or love, it looks very good. Okay. Okay, thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have here for Sagittarius? Let's get three cards, please. Look at that. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, very nice. Very nice cards here. Look at this. First card you have, look at this, opportunity opportunity two opportunities here double confirmation it's going to pay off look at all those gold nuggets dropping from the sky beautiful energy here look at this you have the yes card 
Okay, this fell on the Eight of Swords. This tells me what, you, what you're seeking is coming here. You are going to feel very peaceful. You're going to feel joy. You're going to feel happiness here. Uh, and you're going to come out of this stuck energy. I feel like you're going to say yes to this offer. Okay, beautiful energy there. And then you have here trust. Okay, trust that everything is possible and that everything is working out for your highest good because you have this beautiful stable offer here okay i feel here you know this this is you this uh very uh solid stable king here or queen it's not about male or female it's about the energy so i do feel here there's definitely a lot of stability coming in for you you just have to believe that and trust that everything is possible so Sagittarius, very nice reading for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, again, if you want to enter for the giveaway or request a personal reading, details are below. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.